Welcome to my lecture online. Not only are terrestrial planets very rare, so it's very unusual to find a planet that can sustain life because you have to have a solid surface to walk on, they also need to be in the Goldilocks zone, which makes a planet in the right location where the temperatures would be comfortable for life. That would then make those planets even more rare and then on top of that, they need to be the right size. Because if they're not the right size, they probably cannot hang on to their atmosphere. And if they can't hang on to the atmosphere, it's virtually impossible to have liquid water present on the surface. Because you need pressure to keep water from boiling. On Mars, where there's virtually no atmospheric pressure left, if you were to take a bucket of water and start pour pouring it on the surface, even though the temperatures are very, very cold on Mars, the water would immediately begin to boil as it's trying to freeze at the same time because of the very low temperatures. Boiling temperature is near zero degrees Celsius on, on Mars. So of the four terrestrial planets in our solar system, notice that Mercury has no atmosphere, but Mercury is the smallest of all the planets. Mars has just a small amount of atmosphere left, about 0.6% of the atmospheric pressure of the Earth, and liquid water can no longer exist on the surface of Mars for any length of time. So that leaves us with the two planets, Venus and Earth, which do have an atmosphere. But since Venus is too close to the Sun, the oceans probably boiled away, and what's left on Venus is no longer a place where life can exist with temperatures that are just enormously high. So that only leaves the Earth. So Venus was the right size, but it was not in the correct Goldilocks zone, and Earth is the right size and in the Goldilocks zone. So of the four terrestrial planets, only one of them looks like it's in the right zone, and it's large enough to hang on to its atmosphere. So you may say, well, why does a planet need to be large enough to hang on to its atmosphere? Well, we can assume that all four planets at one point in time did have an atmosphere, but Mercury lost it and so did Mars. Well, if we draw a distribution of the velocities of an atmosphere, you can see that most of the molecules in the atmosphere have about this velocity. Some will have a smaller velocity and some will have a greater velocity. If the velocity of the very fast moving molecules in the atmosphere are greater than the escape velocity, they will escape into space and never come back. Just like a rocket, when it starts moving fast enough, it can pull away from the gravitational force of the Earth. Of course, if the escape velocity is greater, then the fast molecules do not move fast enough to get away from the, from the gravitational force of the Earth, and the Earth will simply pull them back, or of any planet for that matter. So what causes the escape velocity to be either here or here? Well, the smaller the planet, the less gravitational force, so that means the escape velocity moves to the left. That's what happened to Mars, and that's why the very fast-moving molecules are able to get away, and as soon as they're gone, the whole mass will redistribute itself, and you always will have some molecules moving faster than escape velocity, and they will slowly leak off into space, and leaving less and less and less atmosphere. And after four and a half billion years, Mars has virtually no atmosphere left. The temperature also makes a difference, because the hotter it is, the faster it moves. So this whole curve will move to the right. So for a large planet that is very hot, you can see that the curve will move to the right and may move past the escape velocity of the planet. And so when it's hot, it also will result in the atmosphere leaking off. So now you realize that for life to be able to exist, you need an atmosphere. For an atmosphere to exist, you need the planet to be the right size, and you need the temperatures to be comfortable for liquid water to be able to exist and for life to live within the comfortable range of temperatures. And it all has to happen on terrestrial planets, which to begin with are very rare. So you can see that more and more you begin to see that the Earth is a special place that happens to be a terrestrial planet, that happens to be right in the Goldilocks zone, and that happens to be the right size, so it, can, is in, it enables the Earth to hang on to its atmosphere and provide the protection that we need with that atmosphere. We'll get into more details of why it's so important for that atmosphere, besides keeping water from boiling and then also leaking off into space. So stay tuned, and again, we'll take a look at the miracle of our existence as we go through all these various reasons why we should be amazed that we actually are here and we exist.